Hi everybody. We are back in our second episode of Ideas Unplugged and it's about appreciating and understanding cultures from around the world. And here with me today is Azama Omer and he has lived in uh, four distinct cultures. So Azama, please tell us a little bit about you. Where, did, where were you born and how did you end up in so many different places? Okay, so thank you so much, Shankar. Uh, my name is uh, Azama Omar. Uh, I was born and uh, raised in Sudan uh, in a small uh, village called Az uh, Ampirish uh, in uh, North Kurdufan state. Uh, I study uh, secondary school uh, in near of my village uh, and I study high school at uh, Al Ubaid state. So uh, after that, uh, I moved to uh, capital of Saudi Arabia. Uh, sorry, uh, I moved to Khartoum, state of Sudan, uh, and uh, I study uh, college there. Uh, I from uh, seven siblings uh, in Sudan. All of my siblings stay in Sudan, but I live in Saudi Arabia for five uh, years. Uh, I am a private teacher at mathematics and English language. Uh, I like travel abroad. Uh, I I have a yeah. Uh, I am a graduate from Sudan University of Science and Technology College of Language uh, diploma, and uh, I study. Uh, application computer in India uh, in Bangalore city before two years ago and uh, I have a course of uh, teaching skills uh, in Bangalore city also before uh, one years ago and uh, I have a different uh, experience before uh, for living in some of country uh, around the world. And you were also in Egypt for some time, is that right? Yeah, Egypt, you know, it is a part of Sudan. Uh, it is uh, so near, nearby Sudan. Uh, I travel uh, sometimes there uh, for business and for work and come back to Sudan. Oh, tell me a little bit about what was it like to move from Sudan to uh, Saudi Arabia? Was it a different world when you moved from Sudan to, to Saudi? Yeah, you know, uh, there is not uh, more difference between Saudi Arabia and Sudan, but Sudan, there is no uh, enough job for the people, they are graduate from after university, but in Saudi Arabia, there is, uh, there is more job for uh, citizens in Saudi Arabia, and uh, there is uh, a lot of jobs for the people around the world, like uh, teaching, doctors, uh, so uh, there, Sometimes there is different culture between Saudi Arabia and Sudan. Uh, in Sudan, uh, like celebrate, they can share, celebrate together. Uh, women and men, they can celebrate together. But in Saudi Arabia, uh, no. In Saudi Arabia, there is different in Sudan, uh, like celebrate uh, wedding for the people. Uh, there, in Saudi Arabia, women, they, they are, so uh, after uh, women, they are placed on uh, men, they are another place. They can't collect together. In Sudan, they can collect together, dance together, sing together, and uh, they can share everything together. Uh, they, can, they are uh, shopping. Uh, in Sudan, there is not uh, all, of, all of women in Sudan, don't all of wear the ibaya but in Saudi Arabia all of women in Saudi Arabia they are wearing ibaya and hijab uh -huh. so different cultures yeah yeah, yeah different cultures uh, Saudi Arabia it is apply sharia in Islam yes yeah, yeah. But, so, but Sudan it is not all uh, application of sharia in Sudan like uh, they can allow the women uh, go without hijab they can wearing so and ibaya, if you want. If you don't want to wear ibaya, you are free. 
But uh -huh. there in Islam, Islam in Sudan, it is uh, it is go on good, and there there are freedom for religion in Sudan. Uh, they are live together, and uh, they they can share some of things between women and men in Saudi Arabia. Very interesting. And you went alone from Sudan to uh, from uh, Sudan to uh, Saudi Arabia. And you had a big family when you were growing up, is uh, that right? Uh, Many you know, uh, I came here before. I came here before along, but uh, after two uh, after two years, my older brother brother he reached to me uh, and belonged to me in Saudi Arabia, and he's a teach Holy Quran in Saudi Arabia and Imam to Masjid. Uh, he's older than me, and uh, before he was in in Libya. Uh, uh -huh. But now he stay. But now he stay with me. Uh, same of uh, same of city now uh, in Saudi Arabia, and uh, I have my uncle. He stay here before me. Uh, he has uh, twenty years in Saudi Arabia. He doing businessman in Saudi Arabia. Uh, but all of my uh, my others siblings they are stay in sudan in my main village in south kordofan state but they are came every year to umra my mother and father and uh, they came back to sudan also so there is a lot of going around and meeting people wow and uh, I, uh, the once uh, we got to know each other while teaching English uh, online, and it was a great experience uh, to meet with people from many countries. Uh, you seem to have uh, you lived in India also for some time, right? In Bangalore, what brought you to India? You know, uh, I've uh, I visited before India. Uh, it was so amazing, and uh, there is all of people. They are contact to work. They can contact uh, contact together. And in India, I think different uh, when I was living in Sudan and Saudi Arabia. India, all of people they are living together. Their 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 cultures is so good. I loved. All the people there, they are people very kindly. India, it is so incredible. You can see more things you can see in Saudi Arabia or Sudan. In what ways is it in, different? I mean, uh, because you seem to have really embraced every culture. Wherever you go, <laughs> you become a part of the culture. In what way was yes. India a different experience for you? Yeah, Ex uh, good experience I to us from India. It is uh, respect the religions between the people there, and uh, I learn from the people. They can go their work in same time and come back their home in same time. Indians, they can't is uh, they can't waste their time for the bad things. They can look at their what do you want to do. And what do you want to work? And India, you know, I say before, the people in India, they are going to sleep so early after the war. In Saudi Arabia and Sudan, they are, uh, most of people, they are, will be wake up until two o'clock in the morning, midnight. Oh. This is different. Uh, for the people in India and Saudi Arabia. So before I ask my friends, they are living in, Sudan, in India now. I call to him midnight. I say, uh, I see to him, they are wake up. I ask him why you are wake up until now. All of people in India, they can sleep early. They are said to me, we are Sudanese and Sudanian Arabian. How can I go to sleep early? <laughs> but but really? really, you know, really some of cultural, they, uh, it's, uh, it's affect to me, like go to sleep and uh, respect religions and uh, deal with the people around the world. 
and uh, how live with the people and how how can contact with the people around the world i have more than 50 friends they are and muslims i am a muslim they are share to me everything if i want to do they can go uh, to journey together hang out together uh read together really really i respect to him so much in fact i told you earlier uh, please come back and visit india anytime i'm here for a while or later i'll be in america it'll be wonderful to meet you in person because every time we talk online we become closer friends you open your heart you talk about different culture you share the music of sudan you share the culture of saudi arabia it's a lot of fun to get to know you this way so please yeah sure and yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, my uh, my plant. I want to visit it India every year and uh, uh, around of the world. And uh, I love travel so much. And uh, I love make friends uh, abroad. And uh, I want to learn more of cultural metal from the people around the world. Sometimes in Saudi Arabia, I found some of people they are uh, abroad. I ask him about cultural, uh, famous food. Now, you know, my favorite food in Saudi Arabia, I like uh, biryani because I found it before in India. It is so delicious for me. Sometimes I go to the restaurants, there are uh, 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 citizens, uh, Indian or Pakistani. My, uh, my brothers and uh, my brother and my uncle asked to me, why you love to this biryani? I said to him, this is biryani I met it before in India and uh, <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, when I was in India, uh, some of friends, they, uh, they could share some of it together and drink together. In fact, uh, I think biryani is common all over South Asia. I've eaten biryani. I've heard it's there in Pakistan, Bangladesh, also in Sri Lanka. Yeah, it's a very, um, it's almost like a delicacy around here. It's a very commonly used for celebration. So, uh, and you were in Egypt too. What was it like living in Egypt? How was it, was it different? So, uh, you know, Egypt and Sudan, there is no difference. Uh, uh -huh. You know, uh, I was traveled to work near of city of proto sudan uh, i was traveling before uh, before 10 years ago mm -hmm. when i was when i was study uh, at university uh, i visited the city in north of uh, egypt to work with my friends and come back to sudan we were to uh, work search about gold in, in the mountain uh, and then uh, I come back to Sudan uh, in uh, south of Egypt. It is same cultural in, uh, in north of Sudan. Now Egypt, Egypt in the north of Sudan. And there, there, there are cities between Egypt and Sudan. They share same cultural together. Interesting. And uh, very interesting also that Sudan is considered both a part of Africa, so it has the African culture, as well as the Arabian culture. How is that? I mean, how does it bring all these together? <laughs> is Sudan the only country with an African and an Arabian culture? Yes, you know, Sudan is uh, African and Arabian. Uh, Sudan, they, uh, it uh, is a uh, collect cultural together from Africa and Arabian. Now in Sudan, in the west of Sudan, you can find cultural like Saudi Arabia and Arabian. They can't know more cultures like South Sudan and West Sudan. East Sudan oh. is different in and uh, West. Oh, East Sudan okay. The people, they are living in West Sudan, they can wear the same like Saudi Arabia. Oh, okay. 
Aywa. The people, they are living in west of Sudan. They are same of Africa and same of Chad, Libya. Their tongue, it is different in Sudan. When you travel to west and east, you can find different people, different, uh, different accent, different uh. faces. Yeah, different faces. But all mm. Sudan together, they are collect cultural together, African and Arabian. Very interesting, very interesting. We have that in India too. We have uh, yes. more than 1.3 billion people and uh, very distinct tribes. In fact, uh, I would say thousands of different tribes uh, in Bangalore, yes. where you were there. You had people from many parts of India. You must have found it interesting. Different people, some people cannot speak English at all. Some people cannot speak Hindi in a national language, but we identified together as one nation uh, and we can speak in multiple languages so we can talk to each other, mixing different languages. Do you do that in Sudan as well? Do you mix different languages, different cultures? Uh, so, you know, uh, in Sudan, it's male language, Arabic language, but there is local language in Sudan. Uh -huh. The people, they are living in West Sudan, they have a local language. So the official the, language the langu is Arabic? The local la Sorry? Is the official language Arabic? Yes, official language in Sudan, Arabic. Second language in Sudan, English language. Oh, okay. But, but local language in Sudan, they don't understand more of people in Sudan. It's only the people they are speak about it. Uh -huh. Now I'm living in central of Sudan, but I don't speak another language. It's only Arabic and English. But if you travel to west or east, you can find another language. The east of Sudan, they have a local language. And West in Sudan, they have a language also. South and North, they have another language. And I remember that in each uh, town, in each city, there are distinct music and distinct dances also. Is that true? So there's a lot of different cultures? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, as, uh, like dancing in Sudan, there is different. For example, uh, central of Sudan, there are uh, local uh, dances or the people in central of Sudan, they can dance in some of dances each others around in Sudan. But the west of Sudan, they have a dance with a swear for the, for the men. Uh -huh. Okay. So and they, the they, they, yeah, they wearing, they wearing t-shirt be uh, uh, cover the soap, but in the south of Sudan, it's different. They are wearing t-shirt and pants. In central of Sudan, they wearing different soap like Jalabia and Umama. Uh -huh. If you find the people, or if you find a man, he wearing. The imama, it is big imama. I think it is a famous. Now, same, uh, same. It has uh, their uh, Pakistan's, but Pakistan, it is small. In Sudan, it is bigger than. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In fact, yeah, I was very dance, impressed yeah, by the different yeah, dances. Styles. Yeah, dances in Sudan, it is different. Women, they have another dances to men. In central of Sudan, they have a cultural light boot in the wedding for the women. Uh, woman. No, put the woman, but the men they can boot about the wedding together, and they so celebrate together and so lovely in the wedding. Very yes. interesting. Very interesting. I would love to visit you in both Saudi Arabia and Sudan also sometime. 
Uh, yeah, and, uh, recently, welcome. I am ready when you visit Saudi Arabia or Sudan. If you want to visit uh, Sudan directly, I go to Sudan. If you want <laughs> to visit it, uh, Saudi Arabia, I am ready for you. Welcome every time, every way. You are very generous, sir. And uh, I find that the, the, the place you are in right now, that's in Saudi Arabia, right? In, uh, yes, yes, now in Saudi Arabia. And what I find is the background that you have, it's yeah, this is, is yeah, this called? is my this is my room. Uh, it is all my room. Uh, it is uh, uh, dokerot, totally. What is it made of? Is it a cloth? Yes, this is what? room before, but inside this is dokerot. Uh huh. What is it? Uh, is it a cloth? Or is it paper? Color? Is the colors beautiful colors? No, no, no. This is materials of uh, polyesters and some of uh, uh, stoves and uh, it's make uh, decorate uh, in some of shop. Very nice, very nice. Yes. I'm sure we have a lot more to learn from each other when we meet. And it's exciting because uh, I think we've been uh, online at least like maybe 10 times. And each time I learned something distinct from you, and it's so much fun to learn from each other, even without having ever visited each other's countries. I've never been to Saudi Arabia or Sudan. Uh, the closest is when you came to India, but I was in America at that time. So, so much to learn from each other. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, I learn uh, more things about uh, from when I traveling abroad from around the world, it is so important for me. And uh, it's give to me uh, more confidence for myself. And it's uh, more to me, I learn more about uh, local, everything, local food, local language, local accent, how the, with the people around, and uh, uh, how can love the people around the world and uh, how can how can it stay safe now i visited more than four country i was so safe with the people now if you want to live abroad just you need for learn their cultures sometimes the people they want to visit it, countries they so afraid they don't understand more people they don't learn more things from him but just you need for learn cultural before visit it before go to any way just you need to learn more to learn uh, to know more of people and discuss with him and chat with him now you are said to me visited uh, america i'm not visited america before but now you are encouraged to visit america i think some of people like you some of people deal with me like you why am why i'm afraid why uh, i'm not go sure in the future i will go inshallah yes yes there's so much to learn from each other and also from the culture and different styles of living. So I look forward to meeting you again. And uh, I don't know where, but one of these four or three or four places we will definitely meet. Uh, and uh, it's such a pleasure to see you teaching English in, uh, to people in multiple countries. I've seen in your class people from Sudan, people from Saudi Arabia, people from Pakistan, from, from Bangladesh. How do you manage to teach all of them at the same time? So, you know, this is my, from one of my goals, uh, I want to spread education and awareness around the world. Now, uh, I have a class uh, on Zoom every day for the people around the world. This class for free, for practice English language and learn cultures, the people around. This I loved so much. Some people, they want to practice English language. They have a full of vocabulary, but you know, they don't speak with it. 
Don't don't speak with them. They they need to practice. I give this chance. I want to talk with the people around. English language, it is second language. It's not my language. I start to study English in high school. But I practice with the, with the people. I can say all the friends in India, thank you so much. They are learned to me English language. They are learned to me how to speak with the people. And I I want to say some of friends from Pakistan, thank you so much for encouraging to me. For when I invite to him, they sure they came and they contact with me on my class. Yeah. Now I am so happy I have a class with the people around from Sudan, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, and India. And I have friends from America. They came to me like Chibar to help me in class. Now I have, uh, I have a friends. They, they help to me in class from Pakistan. Sometimes I have students. They don't. Uh, they don't how can understand more in class, but sometimes the uh, the person who came to help me explain to him by Urdu. Yes, yes, yes. Which is wonderful. I've seen Chipper from Alaska. Yes, so many different cultures and how people get along and they understand each other. They learn from each other. I'm hoping to learn Arabic from all of you because. Uh, sometimes you explain to each other in Arabic, Urdu I already know. Urdu and Hindi are almost 97% the same. But uh, definitely I can learn a lot of Arabic. What was what surprising was that more than a few thousand words are in common between uh, Hindi, English and Arabic and even Spanish. So several thousand words I already know because I know English and Hindi and a little bit of Espanol. So I think the journey will be much easier to learn to learn Arabic. When you were in India, you must have noticed that many of the words we use are the same as the words you use in uh, Arabia or uh, Saudi Arabia or in uh, Sudan, right? Uh, yes. So uh, with that, I will, let's say goodbye and I, I will We'll definitely meet and we'll learn from each other's culture. And I'm so grateful that you are here with us today. And um, how do I say goodbye to you in your language? Shokran, is that right? <laughs> yes, right. Shokran. <laughs> or Khuda Hafiz, Allah Hafiz, is that right? Yes, Allah Hafiz, uh, bye bye. I'll see you. Uh, we say Namaste in India. And, uh, yes, nice yes, I know. Uh, yeah, I, namaste, namaskara, abki <laughs> say like this. <laughs> we say namaste, uh, namaskara. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very nice talking yeah, to I, you. I, yeah, yeah, I was living in uh, Bangalore city there speak uh, Karnataka language. Uh, namaskara, I think, in uh, there. In Canada, yes. Yeah, yes. Can Canada language, yes. Yes, 